Hello and welcome to Driving with Todd. And I'm Todd. Ray Davies of the Kinks wrote like one of the most perfect rock and roll songs in 1964. It was released as a kink single and went to number one in the UK on their singles chart and number seven on Billboard's Hot 100 singles chart. That song is You Really Got Me. Ray Davies didn't realize at the time he was writing like a prototype for the future of hard rock because the guitars in this thing were just really loud and ruckus. Also, it was sort of a prototype for later on in the 70s for punk rock music. So it fit both genres real well. Well, I thought it'd be kind of fun to listen to two cover versions of the song You Really Got Me. The song has been covered by a lot of bands, but I think these two are two of the best cover versions for You Really Got Me. The first one is Mott the Hoople. Now, it's on the first Mott the Hoople album as the first track. This album came out in the UK in 1969 and in the United States in 1970. I remember hearing the song Rock and Roll Queen on FM radio, and they play it quite often, and I love the song. It's like, this is a great song. So I searched out the first Mott the Hoople album, and it has one of the greatest covers. I love the cover of the record. It's, it's got a great cover, and I love great covers. In fact, this is probably one of my favorite covers on an album. And I'm not talking about the song. I'm talking about the physical cover of the album. It's great. It's just great. So when I got it home and opened it up, and put it on, the first track is You Really Got Me. And I'm going, wow, they're doing a cover of You Really Got Me from the Kinks. But little did I realize this was an instrumental because I'm waiting for the lyrics and they never come. But it's a great cover version. I think it's, it's Mick Ralph's doing some of his best guitar work. Well, we move on to 1978. And in 1978, a group called Van Halen released their first album, and it was simply called Van Halen. Now, this album was produced by Ted Templeman, and a lot of the material is, is like live, live in the studio, and it didn't cost them much to make this album. It was, I, I guess I read that it would cost them $40,000 to produce and record this album, which is peanuts. I mean, that's like nothing. In 1978, groups like Fleetwood Mac were spending like hundreds of thousands of dollars. So, Anyways, it has the song You Really Got Me on, on it. And I remember hearing that because it was released as the first single from that album. And I remember hearing it on the radio going, holy cow, listen to that guitar work. That is just, just incredible. And, and I mean, I thought it was a great uh, uh, cover. So I bought the album. And the whole album really rocked. Uh, my favorite track, though, on that album still is You Really Got Me. And that reached number 36 on Billboard's Hot 100 singles chart. So it climbed up the charts fairly well for an unknown group releasing their first single. So here we go with Mott the Hoople doing a cover version of The Kinks You Really Got Me Now, followed by the Van Halen version.
stop it right here just for a moment. I, I just really love this version of, of You Really Got Me. Um, again, like I said, when I first put the album on, I was a little disappointed that there was no vocals. But after I've listened to it many, 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 many times, I love that muddy guitar that starts out the song. I mean, it's just a great muddy guitar, and it's kind of slowed down. It's not quite as fast as, as the Kinks version. He's kind of slowed the song down. But then when the vocals are to come in, it's Mick Rels playing the Wawa pedal. And I, I just I just really like that because you're listening to the Wawa pedal and you're and you're actually putting the lyrics in your mind at least into the place of that Wawa pedal because it's such a familiar song. And I just think that's so cool the way that's put together with that heavy, muddy uh, guitar in the beginning. The drums come in. You got uh, Ian Hunter playing piano in there, and then you got Mick Rells playing that Wawa pedal in place of the vocals. Just really cool. Just really cool. And oh yeah, that's the cover of the album. I just love that picture. Awesome cover. Awesome. Just awesome. I, I just think that's a really cool version of You Really Got Me. Something that you wouldn't expect from a rock and roll band that does a lot of vocals is to start out their first album with an instrumental. And it just rocks. It is heavy. I think it really showcases Mick Ralph's guitar playing. It shows that this group is a, a rock and roll band, though they did a lot of slow tunes on this first album. But they can really rock out. And I like, too, that the the organ comes in at the end and kind of takes the song out. So now we're moving away from um, the guitar and moving more into the organ, which you really didn't hear much of in this version until the end. So that's kind of cool. I mean, you had the piano, you had the bass, really heavy drumming. Some excellent drumming was in, in this song as well. And then the guitar work was spectacular. Like I said, big Mick Rells fan. He's a great guitarist. And then the keyboard or the organ comes in at the end. So you get a little bit of flavor of everything that Mott the Hoople does in the first track on that album. So I love it. I thought it was a great uh, cover, great representation of that particular song. So we're going to move on now to Van Halen and see how Val Van Halen approaches Ray Davies' song, You Really Got Me.
different a little bit different than about the hoop a little bit different than the kinks um when this came out in 78 and i, I heard the single for the first time i don't think i've ever heard anything like this before i mean you know you had kiss they were heavy um and a couple other heavy bands uh black sabbath deep purple but nobody played guitar like this nobody was as like free form as, as van halen i mean they were tight so i don't mean free form in, in a loose way free form and kind of like you know, David Lee Roth is doing one thing with his vocals and Eddie Van Halen's doing a different thing with his guitar. They were just really, really a wild band that, that you know, they they were so different for 1978. There was there was nobody like this at the time, at least not not that I can remember, at least. And when I heard this, this single of You Really Got Me, I went, holy cow, what are they doing? Listen to that guitar playing. It is, it is just unbelievably unbelievable <laughs> how's that unbelievably unbelievable i mean he's like finger picking off of his fretboard um you know he's just doing some wild notes in this thing and what i like is in the beginning of the song when he's playing those initial chords that made you really got me now so famous there's a lot of echo on his guitar that's why i picked a a, a, a version where it was the the studio version of the song because i wanted to hear that echo version on that guitar which sounded really cool and you got David Lee Roth. I mean, he's coming in. He's screaming all over the place. It's like no, there was no other vocalist like David Lee Roth at this time either. I mean, there was just nobody doing what Van Halen was doing. It was it was the start of a new era of hard rock and and maybe a little bit of heavy metal. But I think these guys were were more hard rock than anything. So great version so far. Let's get I'm gonna start it back up again. And I think David, uh, I think uh, Eddie Van Halen is gonna do a guitar solo. incredible <laughs> it's unbelievable um yeah that that's just such a perfect version of that song i i mean most versions of of this song are done similar to to the kinks probably this one here is just so wild i mean um like i said when i first heard it it was like wow what are they doing what is this this is so different from anything i ever heard then they go into that one part where they come out of the guitar solo and they're kind of like you know popping through uh the, some of the, the 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 vocal portion with very little instrumentation in the back and then everything is back in again which is kind of cool i like that when they slow down a song that's going pretty wild and then they start it back up and it gets wild again but wonderful version um really think that that van halen took this song to a new limit uh or new level i should say to a new level that uh, nobody ever thought of 
uh, could be done. And, and that's why I'm saying I don't think Ray Davies knew what he had when he, re, when he wrote You Really Got Me Now, that this thing was going to be the prototype for hard, hard rock and then later on possibly punk as well because punk kind of fits a little bit in that gen, uh, genre, just uh, more, sp- more sparse than, than, than the hard rock part. So very, very cool version, just, just very cool version of Van Halen. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the comparison of Mata Hoople doing a cover of You Really Got Me with McRelfs on guitar, which I think McRelfs is a, a dynamite guitar player as well, and then Van Halen doing their spaced out version of You Really Got Me Now with just heavy, heavy guitar. I mean, it's just a guitar attack. So if you like this, hit the like button. I'd really appreciate that. If you have any comments on either the Monta Hoople or the Van Halen or both, that'd be really cool. Put them in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. Well, I'm going to take the link to both of these videos and I'm going to put it in my notes below. So if you want to watch them again, listen to what, they, what they're playing, how they're uh, covering the song, You Really Got Me. Just pick on the link, it'll open up and you'll be able to watch and listen to the video as well. I'm also going to put the link to the channels that uploaded these two videos in my notes below as well. You might want to check out their channels. They might have some really cool stuff. Maybe even subscribe to them. And talking about subscribing, have you subscribed to Driving With Todd? If you haven't, let's do it right now. Hopefully you have my video still open. If you do, just go below my video and pick subscribe and you're in, you're done. It's that simple. If you go over here, ring the bell, you'll get updates to my latest videos. This is great. I, I, I've been thinking about uh, these two bands covering this song for a couple of weeks now. And it's like, you know, I got to do a comparison between the two. So I got to do a comparison reaction. And I think this was, was wonderful. Love both versions. They're both so different. And they're also very different than the original Kinks version as well. So put a big smile on my face. I'm hoping to put a big smile on your face. And peace out, baby. <laughs>